bed. Certainly a great way to cool off, whether mm -hmm. that's the pool, the shade, you know, inside an AC. Don't worry about that ice cream on the yes. side. So I have to ask, of course, oh fitting gosh. for this conversation, mm -hmm. favorite ice cream flavor, I'll go first. Coconut. Coconut. Okay. <laughs> Your face. I can't stand coconut. coconut. Come on, maybe no. with some chocolate and strawberries on the side with chocolate fudge and raspberries on top. Wow. Oh, <laughs> just a little. Very specific. <laughs> I have to say mine, I just bought this in the store yesterday. It was made okay. with oat milk. It's coffee mm. with chocolate chunks in it. I Ooh, love coffee ice yum. cream. I've loved it since I was like eight years old, which is strange for an eight year old, I think. Your parents allowed that? Yeah. They, that was the whole battle, trust me. I had to get grandma involved to get that approved, but no, I, I love coffee ice cream, especially okay. with hot fudge. Oat milk? Mm. That's yes. Not, that's not ice cream. That's yes, something it is. else. That it is, is a frozen treat that's not ice cream. <laughs> uh, my favorite flavor is, is yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, usually something with chocolate or coffee. Oh, you know what? Heath bar is really, yes. really good. A coffee Heath bar is even better. Mm -hmm. so. Fantastic. Now I'm oh, hungry. I'm I know. Say. Let's go get some ice cream. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. We'll stay. So whether you are a diehard chocolate ice cream fan or you like mixing it up, there are plenty of ice cream spots in and around Winston-Salem to help you cool off. To break down some of the best ones this morning, Christy Bellis is joining us live. She is the woman behind the to Winston-Salem, which is a full guide to the Twin City from all the events happening to new businesses to check out. Christy, this is a great topic. Great to have you. Good morning. Good morning, Audrey. That was very specific. The coconut, <laughs> the raspberries. I, I love know it. What I like, <laughs> Christy. Tell us your favorite ice cream flavor. <laughs> My favorite I actually had last night is Moose Tracks, but the vanilla version. So vanilla is the base, and then you have all the fudge yes. and the peanut butter pops in it. We get it's just the perfect up. mix of both. Yes, yeah, so you had it last night. It's so popular right now to go and get ice cream. I know that you are following some of the top recommendations out there for folks. Take it away with spot number one. Yeah, so spot number one is called Twin City Sweets. Um, they have large sundaes, an adorable fenced-in little area with seating and string lights and cornhole. And what makes them really special is that they often have theme nights or theme weeks or theme months. So, for example, last month they had a Lord of the Rings themed week where they had some Sundays named after characters. So one of them was Fro Doe, <laughs> like a cookie dough. And then in July, they are going to be having the whole month of July as Harry Potter theme. So I do not know what they, those creative names are, but they have decorations and everything up. Um, around their little shop and um, I went there last for Lord of the Rings week because my husband and I love Lord of the Rings. <laughs> oh, that's so cute to make it kind of fun for the whole family to go out and really enjoy the theme and embrace it with ice cream. That's cool. So spot number two, I know you have four so you can list them all for us. Yeah. So spot number two is chill nitro. Now this is a fun mix to ice cream um it's with or without alcohol so you can actually choose your flavor toppings in a spirit if you want or you don't have to you can choose one shot or two shots uh, and they mix it with your ice cream and they freeze it right in front of you um, so this is perfect to go with the kids too where you can enjoy an adult treat and they can enjoy a normal ice cream we and then really need to go there. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. <laughs> Sorry. You do need to go there. You do need to go there. <laughs> um, the next spot is Chili Philly. This is a great spot. They have two different options. So they have Philly water ice, which is actually good to note dairy free. Christina, I don't know if you chose oat milk because you're um, lactose intolerant or dairy free or something, but I just prefer, chili. you're right. I prefer dairy free. It's just a little bit easier and it's just as tasty. And it's becoming so yeah. popular. It is. It's just a alternative. Um, it's just weird. <laughs> <laughs> um, I thought your answer was yes to every ice cream. Yeah, so. yeah Brian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> water it's dairy free but they also have ice cream too so there's a thing for everyone it's not completely dairy free um a great thing about this is you can mix and match the philly water with the ice cream they have a sampler where you get all of their flavors of the philly water um tons of different options and they're constantly rotating flavors i went a few weeks ago and they said next week you won't see any of these flavors so that's kind of interesting and then the last one is very new to the 
Winston-Salem scene. They've had a spot in Greensboro for many years now, but Lucha Libre, um, it's an ice cream shop that not only sells hand um, crafted fresh daily ice cream, but churros and Mexican treats as well. Um, I think uh, there's a picture up with one of their Nutella milkshakes. So it's a churro dipped in chocolate with Nutella and whipped cream. They just make beautiful creations. Now, when I went on opening day, it was so busy that I didn't actually get to try it. But the fact that the line was wrapped around the door and it was taking two hours to get your ice cream, I think speaks for itself on how good it is. My goodness, our jaws are dropping <laughs> looking at that creation. Fantastic, Christy, this was a great lineup. Thank you so much. And we hope to see you out enjoying some ice cream. We'll see you um, next month for another look at the go-to spots around Winston-Salem. Folks can visit the go to winstonsalem.com website for more guides to the city. That website's on your screen now. Make sure you subscribe to her weekly e-newsletter so it shows up in your inbox every week. I read that newsletter.